Welcome, in this video tutorial we showing how to design IoT based NPK sensor project using Arduino and Blink. We will be testing three soil samples to check their fertility for nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium concentrations using NPK sensor. The test samples reading will be displayed on the OLED screen and are already labeled. When this readings are gotten, they are equally sent to an IoT dashboard on the Blink app where it be remote and hotel monitored. Kindly like and subscribe to this channel to encourage us make more videos like this in the future. The components used on this video tutorial can be fully understood from the link in the description below. The first stage in the project tutorial is the breadboard stage, where the components are assembled on the breadboard and the source codes tested, to ensure the parts are working properly. To download the schematic diagram used for this tutorial video, please follow the blog link in the description below to download free and understand the schematic diagram. Now, let us move to the coupling and assembly the parts together. This involves the soldering of some wires and components to ensure the right connection. The power supply is connected such that an AC cable can be plugged in easy and also removed easily. With that done, we can begin the rest of the coupling stage, using the 3x6 box shown here. We include and carefully place the solder veraboard circuit as shown in the schematic diagram. Next, we can place the power supply and ensure it is connected properly. We will use these socket headers to connect the power rails throughout the circuitry and to ensure that the sensors are connected to the microcontroller pins assigned to them. Safely place the DC-DC buck converter module and use a glue gun to apply adhesive to hold it in place.
Each time we sense a new soil sample, we needed to reset the microcontroller with a push button, so this is glued by the side of the casing. Wire routing and other connections were made once this is set. Control the power flow, the red push button switch is included to turn on and turn off the design on desire. Also, a blue LED indicator is connected to the design to show when it is powered on successfully. Wrapping up the coupling of the design, we used cable tees to neatly arrange the wires inside the casing. To ensure the Arduino Nano reads the soil parameter, we connected the MPK sensor through the MAX485 module. Project design also used ESP01 to get internet access via Wi-Fi and connect to the Blink dashboard, where it can televise these reading. Please see the blog post in the description link below on how to add ESP8266-01 to this project and make it IoT by sending the readings to Blink Cloud. Screws go to their rightful places and we tie them the screws. On completion of this, the next step is to test the design. To begin we have to connect the NPK sensor into the design. A slow, connect the AC wire power plug. This would carry 220 to 240 volts AC voltage into the design. When switched on, this is found working well. There are three soil samples here, we will test their fertility level. We added water to them at first, and once they are partially or whole soaked we can insert the sensor probe inside. We turned on the design as shown and it displayed the welcome message. First test is carried out on the soil sample A. This displayed the nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium levels that were present in the soil on the OLED screen while remotely sending the same information through the Arduino Nano microcontroller to the ESP01 microcontroller to send to the Blink Cloud. NPK sensor is removed, the display would show that the NPK sensor is missing as shown here.
and all the readings are shown on the IoT platform using Blink.